again, ladies and gentlemen. Bear with me, it's a whole new day. Minister Kev of the body of Christ. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food. Heavenly Father, thank you for the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord most definitely is our strength in these last and wicked and evil days, Lord. Open our eyes that we may behold something new in your word. Lord, you are our light, our salvation. Of whom shall we fear? Of whom shall we be afraid? Lord, you are the strength of our life. You are our high priest. And Holy Father, thank you for your son, for the courage he had, Lord. As we get into this word today, Lord, uh, taking all the impurities in the food and the drink, Lord, and uh, may we have a good study. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask all these things. Amen. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, it's a whole lot going on. Let me get into this real quick. We're uh, continuing on in the Melchizedek study. Amen. Today, uh, I got a chance to look at the newspaper or rather look on some of the news events. A sad, tragic situation in Mississippi. I believe another shooting. It's a lot going on, you know, a lot of people anticipating the slam dunk, Matt McClung doing his thing in the slam dunk and what have you. However, we're going to start off with the spiritual food, this natural food and some of the spiritual food. Hey, Amen. Just keep in mind that Jesus Christ said hey, over there in John 8th chapter that Jesus Christ, speaking of Abram, he said, or Abraham, and Abraham rejoiced to see my day and saw it and was glad. He goes on to say, before Abraham was, I am. People say, see, Jesus, the great I am. He just saying that he existed before Abraham. That's right. And I mentioned that Jesus Christ, or rather God through Jesus Christ, created Abraham. Now, uh, that you can find that in John, the eighth chapter, 56. And your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. So did Abraham or Abram see Jesus Christ? Well, I believe he did. Now, of course, you can see it foreshadowing for him to come because he was the seed of Abraham. Jesus Christ was the seed of Abraham. Now, let's go back to Genesis, uh, the 14th chapter. Hopefully, I can remember. It's a whole new day. Amen. Uh, Genesis 14 and 18, and Melchizedek, we're talking about the king of righteousness, amen. The king of Salam, or Salem, uh, which means peace, amen. Do you have peace in your life? Seek Jesus, the son of God, to get to God, the father, amen. Genesis 14 and the 18th verse, let me slow down. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was priest of the most high God. Amen. Coming out to meet Abram. Amen. And Abraham sure was glad. Amen. He paid that tenth of the spoils. Amen. Moving on to today. Amen. Because we know that we have a high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. Amen. The king of righteousness. And now our high priest, rest assured, is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, according to the order of Melchizedek. We're bragging on Jesus, like we do, the Son of God, amen. Uh, Hebrews, the fourth chapter, let's start at 14 real quick. It says, seeing then that we have a great high priest. He's a great high priest because he can relate to all of our infirmities because he was a man. And he was also God, the Son of God, amen. Seeing then that we have a great high priest, that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. So Jesus Christ, the Son of God, passed into the heavens. You say, no, that was all, of, that was the Father. No, according to the scripture, our high priest, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, has passed into the heavens. So what's the problem? And it goes on to tell you that he was uh, a touch with the feeling of our infirmities, our weaknesses in this flesh. He was all points tempted. Yet without sin, amen. Moving on for the second time, Hebrews, the fourth, the fifth chapter. Let's start at verse 
Let's start at verse number five. Hebrews five and five. So also Christ glorified not himself to be made in high priest. But he that said unto him, now who's the he that said unto him? The father said unto the son. The father said unto him. Now the father is the one who begot. And Jesus Christ is the one who was begotten. See, the father is not begotten. Uh, it's Jesus who proceeded forth and came from the father. It's the Holy Ghost that proceeded from the father. Thou art my son. Today have I begotten thee. Amen. Now, for the sake of time, let's skip down to Hebrews, the fifth chapter. And at verse number 10, it says, speaking about the son, it says, called of God and high priest after the order of Melchizedek, of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered. So they had many things to say about this Melchizedek. Because the question that I asked, you don't know it all time. Maybe he want to jump in on this. Since he's afraid to answer so many questions, he's afraid to uh, talk about where can you find that Luke is an apostle. He act like he's afraid, afraid of Peter Cox. So maybe he'll answer this. Who is Melchizedek? I know who I believe that he is. I mean, who else can he be? Of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered. See, this is spiritual meat, y'all. When you deal and talk about Melchizedek or Jesus Christ, before he came through Mary, before Abraham was, I am. Yes, he existed before, seeing that ye are dull of hearing. So there are many who are dull of hearing. They won't touch this. These so-called pastors, they don't want to be wrong. They don't want to say what, how they really feel about Melchizedek. Amen. But hey, Minister Kev here, amen, is going to uh, 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 cover these things, these tough things, this spiritual meat. Amen. So that's pretty much it. Amen. Uh, we are not dull of hearing. We want to lift up our high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. On this new day that the Lord hath made, amen, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. So let's get up, get active, represent the Son of God with good fruits of the Spirit. Amen. And this is open to anybody to comment, to be respectful. Amen. Uh, until the next time, y'all go ahead. I'm going to eat this breakfast. Amen. So y'all go ahead. Amen. Hold it down like you do. And be blessed.